It's me. I only have a few minutes to talk, but guess what? I'm having a therapy group coming over any minute now, and I'm so nervous. It's two guys, and I've never met them before, and I don't know if they're crazy or what, because, you know, they are having a therapy session, and I don't know what it's for. Maybe one of them molests women. Oh, my God. If one of them molested me, I would absolutely die. But anyway, I've never met them before, and I hope they're not disgusting, because if they are, well, I just have to say, I'm really sorry, but you are just too disgusting to be coming to my house every week. I know you're supposed to feel sorry for disgusting people, but I just could not have one in my house. I mean, I have a right not to have to throw up in my own apartment. <laughs> but anyway, I hope they like me. <laughs> yeah, hi, Jenny. It's me. I only have a few minutes to talk, but guess what? I'm having a therapy group coming over any minute now, and I'm so nervous. It's two guys, and I've never met them before, and I don't know if they're crazy or what. Because, you know, they are having a therapy session, and I don't know what it's for. Maybe one of them molests women. Oh, my God. If one of them molested me, I would absolutely die. But anyway, I've never met them before, and I hope they're not disgusting. Because if they are, well, I just have to say, I'm really sorry. But you are just too disgusting to be coming to my house every week. I know you're supposed to feel sorry for disgusting people, but I just could not have one in my house. I mean, I have a right not to have to throw up in my own apartment. <laughs> but anyway, I hope they like me. Unless, of course, they're disgusting, then I don't care. But if they're not disgusting and they don't like me, I'll just be so depressed. Oh, I didn't want to do this in the first place. But my doctor said I should, so I am. But I'm still nervous, especially since my doctor won't be here. It'll be some strange doctor that I've never met before, and I hope he's not disgusting, because if he is, I... What? What do you mean, who am I? <laughs> what this is Wanda! Wanda! <clears throat> Fine! Don't remember me. See if I care! Knock, knock. Come on, open the door. Ain't got all day. <laughs> Fine, I walk. <laughs> yeah, what kind of dump is this? <laughs> Hi, <laughs> I'm Wanda. You're one of those neurotic weirdos who writes dumb poetry about their stupid dead kids. I don't want to hear any of it. <laughs> You're Charles, right? No. Must be quite blissful having no brain. <laughs> well, then you must be Roger. Gee, that was incredible. You have a choice of two names, and you got mine on the second try. <laughs> you must be psychic. What else can you tell about me? Maybe you can tell what I had for lunch. If it helped, I'd throw up right here on the couch. <laughs> It'd blend in nicely. <laughs> I am really looking forward to this therapy session. So am I. It's like you went through a lot of trouble getting this stuff prepared. It's quite a spread you got here. <laughs> Potato chips, cheese puffs, and whatever that is. <laughs> Tricks? Cereal. <laughs> tricks. Silly bimbo. Tricks are for kids. Well, maybe you'd like something else then. Raisin bran? Oh, no, no. Please don't go through any more trouble on my account. I mean, getting just this food prepared must have been quite HR for you. I can just imagine the painstaking method you took to open all these packages. <laughs> The hours you spent slaving in the kitchen to dump everything into these three separate bowls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the late days you left the stuff out to age until it was just stale enough to serve to your guests. <laughs> This is nothing less than a culinary masterpiece. I was, I was hoping you'd like it. <gasps> They're here! <laughs> Charles! Yeah. I'm Wanda. Have a seat. <laughs> I'll go for get some coffee. <laughs> My, don't we just reek of emotional insecurity? <laughs> <laughs> Could you manage to be just a little more pathetic? Here we are. Ah. Oh. Oh. Now I've got cream and sugar. Um, If you want any. Oh, I hope you don't mind, but all I had was decaffeinated. <laughs> I guess I better go get a towel. <laughs> oh, I guess so. <laughs> no, I'd really like to pick.
pay for any damages I caused. How much did this couch cost you? A dime, maybe? <laughs> oh, that's quite all right. I think the stain will come out. Lucky us. <laughs> you know, I think I've already come to a conclusion about you two. What's that? You are both perfect freaks. Freaks? Freaks. Well, you certainly don't mean me. Oh, I especially mean you. <laughs> Why, there's nothing freakish about me. I just spent two hours on my makeup alone. <laughs> I, I am a warm and caring human being. <laughs> and, and I have as much right to happiness as any man. <laughs> No, you are a freak. <laughs> well, if that doesn't prove my point, nothing will. Well, if you're so much better than the rest of us, why do you need to be here? Because, because the world is just brimming with freaks like you two. And if I have one fault, then I cannot deal with freaks. And everyone I know is a freak. My mother, she was a freak. Your mother? The all-time champion. She dated this guy once who took little kids and stuffed them into ovens and baked them at 450 degrees. <laughs> she lost two sons that way. But still, she stayed with him and bought his lame excuses. And I tried to tell her once. Mom, I says, maybe you could have mistaken a kid for a casserole dish once. But twice. <laughs> I once dated a guy who strangled cats. But he said he was making an artistic statement. And someone should have been making an artistic statement on you. <laughs> Don't you talk? Why, well, yes. Shut up. <laughs> There's our doctor. I don't know, but he better get here pretty quick if he expects me to pay for any of this. You know, I don't even know who he is. Or, or she. She? What? No, if it's a woman, I'm only paying her half. I know. Why don't we just start without him? Oh, and let me guess. You'll be the psychiatrist. Tell me, doctor, how do I get to be a nervous wretch like you? <laughs> Please. Now let's start with you, Charles. <laughs> yes, tell us something about your childhood. My, my childhood? Yes, some incident in your childhood that you remember. Well, there was this one time when, when my mom gave me and my brother some ice cream. And, um, but we weren't exactly finished with our spaghetti yet. And, <laughs> and my brother spilled spaghetti sauce all over his ice cream. And he started to cry. So my mother traded his ice cream for mine. And then I started to cry, and Mom hit me upside the head with the frying pan. <laughs> and and I, I told her, I said, I don't want to get, I don't want to eat this, you know, because it's got spaghetti sauce all over it. And she told me I couldn't get down from the table until I did. Well, well, I sat there, and I sat there, and after a while, it ran all together and got all soupy. <laughs> but after five weeks, it all evaporated. <laughs> But to this day, when somebody offers me vanilla ice cream, I explode in a flurry of anti-chef worthy sentiment. <laughs> you know, Charles? Yeah? I'll bet there are millions of drooling idiots in this world. Uh -huh. And I, they probably all bow down and worship to you. Be the doctor. <laughs> Hello, sir or madam, whichever the case may be. I realize you're a terribly busy person. Now I'll only take up a few minutes of your precious time to show you this. Yes, 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 whatever you say, doctor. Come in. Thank you, thank you. Yes, have a seat. You know, we were wondering if you were even going to show up. Uh, I'm sorry if I kept you waiting. Oh, that's quite all right. The hell it is. Your being tardy has damaged me emotionally, doctor, and you've got two choices. Sign over half your life earnings to me right now, or I'm going to take you to court and sue you for everything you got. Roger, please. I'm sure the doctor has a very good reason for being late. Don't you, doctor? Uh, of course. <gasps> Would you like some coffee, doctor? Why, yes. Thank, thank you. But where's the sugar? 
What's with suitcase, Doc? Moving in? Well, as a matter of fact, hey, Roger! Ask the doctor what's in his suitcase. Well, he probably has all of his important papers and things in there. And I'm sure he wouldn't want to show them to you. No, actually, I just like... <gasps> I forgot to introduce you to everyone. I'm Wanda. This is Roger. And this is Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong? Well, you're the doctor. He's obviously a sick, pathetic freak. Uh, shouldn't we get started? Started? Well, with the therapy session, of course. But first, we don't even know who you are. What's your name, doctor? I don't know what's going on here. I come in the guy... Therapy session? My name is Schubert. Schub Doc Dr. Schubert. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, Wanda, was it? Uh, tell me what's troubling. Uh, tell me what's wrong. Uh, uh, me? Now? All right. Well, sometimes I think no one likes me. And I don't know why, because I put my hair up in the cutest uh -huh. way. Aha! You are obviously repressing an incident in your childhood where your mother forced you to wear tacky and poor-fitting shoes. Shoes? What size do you wear? Fourteen. <laughs> Wide. <laughs> With these stylish yet comfortable shoes, you can exercise the demons of your childhood while still feeling sexy and dynamic at the same time. You mean you're giving them to me? Yes, I'm practically giving these shoes away. You might expect to pay $100, $200, maybe $300 for these exceptional shoes. But for a specially reduced price for mentally imbalanced people, I'll let you have for only $49.95. Oh, doctor, you're brilliant. Now I'm going to be an emotionally stable person. And to think all I needed the whole time were shoes. There, there. Everything's going to be all right. Just bought yourself a ticket to pure undiluted sanity. And why, well, Charles? Hello. <laughs> oh, Charles! What seems to be the problem? Paper cuts, no doubt. Well, a new, pa <clears throat> uh, a new pair of shoes will help take your minds off any problems you might have. <laughs> Wife ran off. Deep in debt. Children hermaphroditic. No problem. A new pair of shoes will help take your mind off any of life's crises. For only. F $79.95. Yes, for only $79.95, eternal bliss can be yours. Hello? <laughs> suede? Blue suede shoes? <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley's my idol. <laughs> Why is a fan? I always wanted to be an Elvis Presley fan. As a child, I wanted to grow up and be an Elvis Presley impersonator. Why? Why just listen to this medley of tunes? Look, 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 shoes. Look, 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 shoes. You can do anything, but lay off in my blue suede shoes. Uh -huh. I want to tell you a little secret. Yeah. You got the brains of a processed meat byproduct. <laughs> what? Spam, Charles. Spam. <laughs> and you, Doc, you're not trying to hold a therapy session. You're trying to sell yourself some shoes. Really, Roger? Obviously, you know nothing about psychology. Yeah, psychology. What are you, a doctor or a shoe salesman? Oh, this hostility obviously stems from the fact that, uh... You've been unable to find a pair of shoes to fit your lifestyle and still give you the comfort you need. Do not answer my question, are you? Uh, all this hostility obviously stems from the... Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just see about that, shall we? Wheeler and Wolseley Shoes. 
Get out of here! <laughs> you mean you are just a shoe salesman? Well, uh, that's all in how you look at it, I suppose. Personally, I consider myself a savior to the poorly covered feet of America. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Lincoln. Get out. <laughs> no, 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 really. You're passing up the opportunity of a lifetime. Someday, Wheeler and Woolsey shoes will be affordable only to the very elite. But now, for only... Ow, 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 ow! ow! <sighs> now, these are worthless. Not at all. My problems were over. Or something. A stupid jerk. 
He was such a nice man. <laughs> nice? Oh, sure, nice. You know, if he was so nice, maybe he could have found another place to die. Oh, what am I going to do? I guess I'll just call the police. Well, this just ruins everything. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, don't call the police. What do you mean, don't call the police? We have to call them. No, look. What if you choked on one of your stupid stale snacks or something? <laughs> we could be accessories to murder. God, it's ridiculous. No, it's not. Look, babe, I watch the cop shows. I should know. Before we go around phone in the police, I want to make absolutely certain he died of natural causes. How are we going to make absolutely certain unless we give him an autopsy? I, I have a theory as to how he died. Oh, good. The wimp has a theory. <laughs> well, what is it? Do you know those do not eat packages that come in shoe boxes? Yes. Well, suppose he, like, um, thought there was, like, salt or something and put it in his car. Well, what if a herd of stampeding horses came in and trampled on him? Yeah, I'm sure that's how it happened, fool. <laughs> oh, my God! An empty do not eat packet! <laughs> it was poison. He was killed it. Uh, I told you. We certainly can't be calling the police now. You're crazy. We have to call the police now, especially. No, look. No. We call the police now. We could get thrown in jail. Maybe you two freaks would find jail a jolly little picnic, but not me. I, I don't want to go to jail. They wouldn't throw us in jail. That's exactly what they do. Once they found out the body was poisoned, they're not going to think he poisoned himself. They're going to think we did it. Well, they wouldn't think I did it. Not when I had such a cute outfit on. <laughs> I'm afraid of jails. You got a reason to be, Blondie. You're a cute little guy. They're going to love you. Ah. They'll be loving you from dawn till dusk. <laughs> oh, this is like a nightmare. What am I going to do? I can't just leave him there. Well, we'll have to go dump the body in a river somewhere. How? Well, first I suggest... We dismember him. Dismember him? I'll let you handle that part. Me? I can't do it. And why not? I'm too succulent. <laughs> well, somebody has to do it. You're sadistic and cruel. Why don't you do it? Oh, I'd uh, love to. This sort of thing being my hobby and all. But uh, I'm allergic to a shampoo. Yeah. So now what? Well, since you're not going to do it, I'm not going to touch him. It only leaves one person. Right, Charles? Come on, we'll drag the stiff into the bathtub so when you cut him up in the little tidbits, most of the blood that gushes out won't even get on you. It'll mostly go down the drain. <laughs> hey, I'm wet. I can't stand it. In a few days, the body will start to decompose. It'll smell up my whole apartment and be so disgusting. Shut up. Oh, God. Why me? Why me? All I ask from life is that everything goes my way. Oh, shut up. Just shut up and let me think. <laughs> ah, 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 which one was salesman drinking out of? How should I know? <laughs> it's okay. I'm not dead or anything, but now let's let Charles test him first. <laughs> So what? A doctor! Hi, doctor! Hello, I'm sorry, I was late like, to catch the bathtub. Oh, well, that's quite all right. It's a little bit of a bathtub. Is there something wrong? 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 Blake, and you are... 
I'm Roger. Roger. And this must be Charles. Something upset you, Charles? Uh, Charles doesn't talk. No, not me. <laughs> much. Charles doesn't talk much. Do you mind if I can see him? No. I'd be thrilled if you had to see him. In fact, I think I'll have one, too. <laughs> Having a seat. Oh, it's such a good idea. Why don't we all have a seat? I think everyone should have a seat, don't you? A person really hasn't lived until he's had a seat. Personally, I try to set aside time to have a seat at least once We a day. get the picture, Wanda. Well, I assume you've all met. Let's start by getting to know a little bit about each other. Let's start with you, Charles. Me? Yes, tell us. Tell us something about yourself. Ab about myself? Um, what do you want to know? Well, where do you work? I'm um, a sack boy at Kroger's. Well, do you enjoy your job? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm, it pays you very well, but they, but, but they give you all the free sacks you want. Charles, why is it that you feel the need to wear a grocery sack over your head? Um, uh, uh, make me feel less afraid. Um, insecurity, I guess. Um, and besides, I know they're going to come back in style someday. <laughs> Charles, what is it that you're afraid of? Afraid of? Um, uh, people, places, things, all nouns, I guess. <laughs> what is it that you're most afraid of? Most afraid of? Things. No, I mean more specifically. Specifically? Spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce. psychological problems. It's just his dog died this morning. He'll go. <laughs> I guess it's all right. You can stay, Willie. But take the sack off now. The joke's over. He can't. Why not? He doesn't want you to see his uh, razor burn. Now, Willie, razor burns are nothing to be ashamed of. These are. They're on his forehead. <laughs> he also has a terrible case of acne in him huge scar across his left cheek and his ear was ripped off in a fishing accident. He born without eyelids and he never had a chin. Now, Willie, no one's going to make fun of the way you look. Oh, I will. <laughs> I can't help it. It's a reflex action. One look at that face and the insults practically fly out of my mouth. You know, you've been doing a lot of talking for Willie. Can he speak for himself? No. <laughs> Why not? He, uh... Has no vocal cords. <laughs> Drank a lot of chlorine as a child. Now people are always inviting him over to uh, breathe in their dirty swimming pools. I hope you'll pardon my saying so, but this is all very strange. Strange? Strange? I don't see anything strange. Everything seems perfectly normal to me. It's just that I have to admit, I don't know what's going on here. Duh! <laughs> Forgive me, but what the hell is that all about? Well, no need to get obscene. <laughs> your glass was dirty. Now I know something is going I'll on. Just go get your fresh, clean glass. <laughs> I wanted answers from you people. You've all been acting very peculiar ever since I got here. Well, as soon as I walked in, there you go. Fresh and clean as a whistle. <laughs> it's like I was. Shutter. As soon as I was saying, as soon as I walked in, Wanda tried to get me to go out for coffee, and then Roger tells me about someone else to join the group after tricking me into believing he's Charles. Then Roger jumps up and acts like this wild man. I'm not blind. I can see something's going on. And Willie. Willie here hasn't moved a muscle since I first saw him. Oh, but look. He's, uh, 
She played one on TV. <laughs> Wait a minute. You going around knocking off people because you didn't get along with your mommy? Yeah, that and you get such a kick out of the whole thing. <laughs> well, you saying it's your last Folgers freak go. I'm calling the police. No, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Fine. We're going to use pay phone downstairs. No. I'm afraid you can't leave. Oh, yeah? You going to stop us? Yes. I'm afraid you can never leave. Alive. I know what you're thinking, but we're not going to be drinking any more of that coffee. That would be too much to ask, wouldn't it? <laughs> but wait, I have more intimate and personal ways of taking care of you. Please, please, no. I'm too cute to die. I've never done two nights at once. Oh, wait, Charles. You can't kill us. Why not? Because, uh, Wanda's pregnant. Pregnant? <laughs> pregnant with the illegitimate child of Elvis Presley. Elvis? <laughs> Presley? No. It's too late. You know too much. You know too much? I don't know anything. It's all slipped my mind. Where did these dead bodies come from? <laughs> I'm afraid it's all over now. Now what am I going to do? 
Oh, Charles, come here. You just sit down and relax and be a good little boy, and Wanda and I will take care of everything. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Keep the psycho entertained until I get back with the police. <laughs> I don't know, tell him sack jokes or something. Just keep him here. <laughs> There's a new girl in town. I'm feeling good. Got a smile, got a duck pound for the neighbor. Never mind. <laughs> Are you really pregnant with Elvis's child? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Elvis is my idol. <laughs> At nights, I, I, I pray to him that he'll come and cure me of this terrible affliction. You mean your desire to kill doctors? No. I have jock itch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it anymore! Well, you can't scratch it here! No! <laughs> I used to have that same attitude. Oh, wait, I still do. Sometimes I just want to die. I thought about killing myself once, but then I realized I was a sex kitten. At night, I keep having these nightmares. The same one over and over. This giant. Ice cream cone loos, looms over me in the kitchen, dripping with spaghetti sauce. <laughs> lick me, it says. Lick me, lick me. I have dreams like that. Only oh, I'm the one saying. God, no. <laughs> Elvis. Let me show you what I've been doing in there. I just can't stand any more of these painful memories like... This is a series of skits that I've created. The first one's entitled The Box. <laughs> like the one where my mom killed my dog. Lucky. And the mom dismembered pieces as Christmas ornaments. <laughs> but very soon it'll be all over and I'll have eternal peace <laughs> I better do this right Now there's no one to blame the murders on. 
And you! I could stay alive for five minutes because you... You bastard! Bastard! Ah. Roger, they're here! Okay, just give me a minute, think. This is me! Open up! Hurry! Uh, help me drag these two stiffs on the couch. Go into your kitchen and get your grocery sack. <laughs> Open up! Um, I can't too, but they're filled with garbage. Oh, that doesn't matter. This is Officer Burns. We got an anonymous phone call down at the station. Telling us that something strange was going on in this apartment. It was rather vague. Something about dead bodies and empty shoebox packages. Well, as you can see, nothing unusual is going on in here. Oh, <laughs> uh, must have been a crank. Thanks for coming, officers. Uh, do you mind if we have a look around? Oh, no, not at all. Make yourselves at home. Ah, uh, go take the other rooms. Uh, so, uh, would you mind telling me, uh, what's going on here? Well, it's a costume party, obviously. A uh, costume party. And their costumes are... Yeah, sacks. See, by coincidence, everyone decided to come as the unknown comic. <laughs> pretty upset about it too, not talking. I can imagine. Is that why they're also still? Well, uh, uh, getting along in years. Don't like to move around much. Well, everything's all right in there. Uh, check these people here with the sacks. For being at a party, they aren't very lively. Oh, uh, no, don't touch them. Why not? They were abused as children. They don't like to be touched. <laughs> Oh my god, this one's dead. Well, of course! You touched him! Murderer! I touched him! <laughs> They're all dead. Oh my god! Oh, officer, please! Please! Please don't arrest me! I'll do anything! Look! And then. I'm afraid you're both under arrest. Okay, officer. Okay, we'll go quietly, but first, how about a cup of coffee? <laughs> 